Welcome to this peek at UltraQuest Reporter from Select Business Solutions. UltraQuest Reporter is a powerful tool for reporting and extracting data on the mainframe and mid-tier platforms. You can directly access and join data from vSAM, QSAM, Oracle, SQL Server, and other data sources. Let's jump right into seeing what it looks like. What you see in front of you is the UltraQuest Reporter desktop. This is what allows you to modify existing create requests, create new requests, publish those requests to the UltraQuest library, and create dashboards. For this demo, I am going to build a new request. A wizard walks you through the design process for building a new request or modifying an existing one, thereby simplifying this task. First, you select the database that you want to access and then the table, and then click Next. Now, you're asked to select the data columns you want to see in your report. I want to see the branch number, the account number, the account status, the current balance, the open date, the customer name, and the product name. I can add the columns in the order I want to see them or rearrange them later. I'll move the customer name up before the current balance. These two buttons allow me to add literals and create expressions. There are over 100 built-in functions and operators provided. This is already a complete request and we can run it right now. The preview button allows you to see what the report looks like in its current state. Let's use it and see what we have so far. The preview button gives you a quick way to check on how your request looks as you go along with a limited amount of data access. There's no need to wait until you've applied all the features you want before checking it out. If you forgot something, you can correct your mistake before you move on. Notice that this report has the columns we, we requested, the branch number, the account number, account status, customer name, and so on. I'll also point out that there are a good number of, of values in this branch one. We'll see later how we might cut down on that, those number of values. So now that I've selected my columns, I'll click Next. And here I can add more tables to my request for joining data, as this image up here depicts. I just want to report from this one table now, so I'll click Next. Now I can sort the data in my request and specify some additional formatting options. I'll sort by branch number, and I'll ask for a new page for each branch, and then I'll sort by account number. Although I am walking through a wizard, I am not limited by a rigid structure. I can skip steps I don't want to perform or even jump around in the wizard to any step of my choosing. The double arrow button or right click action brings up a menu of options. The top part of the menu up to the first divider line are the wizard steps. We are now on the sorting dialog. As you can see, I can also join data, which we skipped since we only included one table in the request. Summarize data using functions such as sum, min, or max. Apply column attributes such as changing column headings or how numbers are formatted. Apply filtering, tot totaling, and other options. Let's jump ahead to the filtering dialog. Here, I can limit the data reported, so I'm going to apply a filter for the current balance being at least $1,000. Any records that have a balance below this amount will be excluded from the report. I click the current balance column, then add, and then press the build filter button. 
Now I choose the correct operator, which is greater than or equal to in this case, and enter the value 1000. So I am choosing current balance greater than or equal to 1000. Anything less than that will not be included in my report. You also have the option of defining a variable in place of the value. In that case, the user is prompted to enter the value later when running the quest. This is especially useful when publishing the request for use by many other individuals, where the user can enter information that tailors the results to their specific needs at the time. But we'll continue, and let's preview the results again. I've sorted and filtered the data since the last time that I ran the request. We should see the effect of those actions in this version of the report data. The report will come up as PDF as it did before, which is the reason why it opens in Acrobat Reader. You can see the effect. There's less data now, fewer branch 001 records. They all fit on this one page, and a page break occurs every time the branch changes. As you see, when I scroll down to the next page, this is branch 2. Okay, we're looking good so far. Close this down and go back to Reporter. And on to the next step. On this dialog, I can include subtotals and totals in my report. I'll ask for subtotals for each branch and grand totals. Moving on, this dialog allows me to enter a report title and footing, as well as other annotation lines and options. I'll build a title for my report. I'll enter some text here. and enter this text. And then I'll insert the system date at the top of the report. and continue on to the next dialog. The report is now ready to run. Here I can choose what type of data to produce. I've been building it as a report, but I can choose to produce a file, chart, or a database instead. I'll just run it as a report. By default, my report will appear in my browser or it could appear in Acrobat Reader for PDF results, or Excel for a spreadsheet. I could pick a different destination to go to a mainframe attached printer or cold storage, or to email it to one or more people, to hold it to view later, or to save file output, for instance, fixed width output in a dataset on ZOS. But I'll use the browser default. I set preferences for receiving report results in formatted PDF, which is why we've been seeing Acrobat Reader each time I preview results. So now the UltraQuest server is gathering the data, formatting it, creating a PDF, and it delivered it. It is opening Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat Reader since it is a PDF report, and as you can see, it has loaded in. This time we should see subtotals, totals, and my report title. Let's check it out. Here's the title and today's date. Here's the subtotal for branch one balances. And here are the grand totals on the bottom of the, at the very end of the report. Okay, I'm happy with the way this looks right now. So I'm going to close this down and go back to reporter. And of course, I can save the work that I have been um, building up.
For more information or a more comprehensive demonstration, please contact us at the phone number or email address you see on this slide or visit our website at www.selectbs.com. Thank you for taking the time to explore UltraQuest and I hope you have a great day.